pupils from Carahoe National School outside Westport celebrating Green and Red Day in Mayo with gusto. I'm really excited, I can't wait and I really hope I get to the game. We're looking forward to it uh, uh, hugely because we have a past pupil who's going to line out for, for Mayo Lee Keegan, a wing back. We hope his finger is 100% and we wish Lee and our team the very, very best of luck. My name is Rebecca Walsh, I'm 10 years old and my house is just beneath Kilpatrick. I think that the year of 2012 will be some, a year that we'll never forget. I mean, it's the, the year of the Olympic Games and also it's the year that, we'll, that the Mayo Wills will be bringing the Sam Maguire home! <laughs> my name's Lily Brady and I'm in the Clue Bay Pipe Band and... Oh, that's the band that played for Trapatoni when he climbed Kilpatrick. Yeah, we and we hope to play a game with Mayo and the other. <laughs> Red and green, my favourite colours. In Westport, chefs from the White Hotel were promoting the food festival, which takes place on All Ireland Weekend. A big outdoor screen will be erected in the town for people to feast on football as well. I'm from Dublin as well. What a shame about you wearing that hat. In Newport, one butcher has perfected the art of green and red sausage making. We're in the All Ireland final, and people are doing different things. I know how to make sausages, so why not make red and green for our county? Here at McHale Park in Castle Bar, hundreds of supporters are getting a final chance to meet the team and wish them well for Sunday. <laughs> Would you be on the news? <laughs> I think we'll beat Donegal and we'll bring home the Sam to Mayo.